In this video, we're going to focus on the anchor positioning option in the Chart.js plugin for the data labels. And this is very important because with the data labels, the anchoring position or the anchor will determine where the data labels will start. Basically, that's the starting point. And from there on, we can still do some adjustments, but that will be the starting point. All right, so let's explore this one. So if you go here to the options, then you see here the anchor and this is the most important one we're going to focus on this first and after we will focus on align so when you click on this you will get here and you can see here the anchoring and basically what the anchoring says here an anchor point is defined by the orientation vector and the position on the data element meaning the orientation vector right the the orientation depends on the scale type so you can see your vertical horizontal or radial in this case you can see here is it a horizontal like a bar chart or a line chart, uh, vertical, like a horizontal or uh, style of bar chart, or radial, like a polar chart or pie chart or donut chart. This is very important. Basically, the vertical is most commonly used for a horizontal bar chart where they are going from left to right. But a vertical bar chart, which is they're going from top to bottom or from bottom to top, will have the horizontal scale. So don't get confused by it. This is basically the horizontal scale they use, as you can see here visually. So it will depend on the type of chart we use plus where exactly it is. So by default, it is set on center, meaning that this is the center point or the anchor is in set in the center of that bar line uh, or in the uh, pie chart or donut chart, like a radial style, radial scale, it is here in the center. So what you can do as well as in the starting point, and the starting point will be at the very bottom. Or here, the starting point of the bar chart. And here as well, the starting point here is the starting point of the radials, the, the, the real point of center. Basically, this is their, this is the official starting point, and from there on, it's to start to calculate in the radial. So, and the end is just at the very end here, just at the outskirt of it as you can see here. So, all right, so let's start to apply this because then you will see it becomes important because these things here, well, visually this looks very complicated, but if you just use it, you will start to understand it very quick. So let's start and do this one immediately. So what we're going to do here is we want to set every item we have. Right now we have two data sets here, but we want to make sure that every data set that we have have the same design in positioning or anchoring, anchor positioning. So we say here anchor, by default it's set on center. So you will see here, center, save, you will see nothing happens. If we refresh here, nothing happens. All the bars or the data labels are exactly in the center of the bar. So what if we do here now starting point at start? We save this, refresh, now you can see here, this is the starting point. It starts at the very beginning of where the bar chart starts. Of course, we can adjust this still because there's another item that goes in conjunction with that's very important. And so what we do here, end, and that's this one you can see here. But of course, I can imagine you say, well, I don't want it here exactly on the bar chart. I want it just above the bar chart. No worries, we're going to solve that in the next video. We're going to focus on the alignment. And the alignment needs to work in conjunction with the anchor option. So let's start and explore that one in the next video. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.